Welcome back to the Hoosier Garage. Very simple little project today. See if you can see if something's off. Besides the bumper missing, it'll go on soon. Anything else? If you hadn't noticed it, it's that the running lights, turn signal lights, whatever you want to call them, these lenses do not match. This one I got out of our junkyard, and I don't know if all of these were the same originally, or maybe they came in the two different looks here. Uh, I'm kind of wondering if these were just faded out. This one was facing the sun, but it happened to be intact. It's a little rough, but we're going to let it get us by for a while. This one over here is in pretty good condition. It has a little bit of age, but it has a nice gloss. It's, you know, really good color. And we got that one from our friend, Just Mopar Joe. I'm going to leave a link up here. Make sure you check out his channel. We're going to do a collaboration here soon. He's got some great content. We love that. Does a lot of mechanical work, a lot of ironing issues out, motor swaps, a little bit more than what we do here on the engine mechanical side. So we hope you enjoy that. So check that out, Just Mopar Joe. So I got an idea here. I saw this stuff. Krylon stained glass. And it's like a tangerine orange. They have different shades. I went around here locally and tried to find this particular can, basically. This color. Couldn't find it. They had the reds, the greens, some of them had the blues, and most of them just didn't have this product stained glass to begin with. Uh, translucent color, so anything you paint on it will show through. It'll just tint it, basically. And uh, I think it's really just used for glass, but I'm going to try to make it work for this and see if we can get it at least in the ballpark of looking like this. So, uh, see what we can do. Okay, so first thing we want to do, we want to clean it up a little bit in case there's any wax or oil or anything like that on there. And so we can use like a degreaser. Um, that's probably the best thing, like a wax and you know tar remover, something like that. I don't figure it'd take much. Uh, I do have a, a theory here, but let's say this colors it nicely, but it needs to go darker. If it needs to be darker, then we can turn it over and hit the backside, and it might double up on the, the thickness of the color. And we might be uh, rocking and rolling then. But let's just see what it looks like just hitting the one side first. And. Uh, so good of a match we can get, but we want to make sure, just go ahead and clean it inside out. So just a nice wipe down, make sure it's wet free. It's pretty good. Here's what we're gonna do next. So seeing this as plastic, we want to use a plastic adhesion promoter. I mean, it is made for glass, so it's really hard to figure out which angle to come in on it, but we've got this SEM plastic adhesion promoter. You can also use the, the Bulldog brand anytime you're doing plastic. A couple dust coats and you should be good to go. All right, so we got our plastic adhesion promoter on there. It feels a little tacky. I'm not gonna touch it too much. And so I should have it prepped for any kind of paint that you're gonna use on it, be it for plastic or like this, for glass. You know, kind of an odd product, but see how it looks. So far, it doesn't look quite as uh, brilliant as the one we have up here. But we'll give it a couple coats and then we will see.
By the way, it's the next day. I'm doing some body work. I'm gonna finish this up. So after coating this both sides, I would say about three coats each. It likes to pull up a little bit, so you wanna try to just dust it on each coat. It's a pretty good match to that. Probably especially once you get it under the shade of the grill there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this screwed in here and you can see for yourself what you think. So here it is under the lights of the garage. It is a little more uh, of a solid than what the original molded plastic. So you can almost kind of see through this one. And I know it's a little hard to see on this camera. I'm gonna turn the lights on, we'll see how that looks. So it's a little more uh, kind of fuzzy, I guess you could say, than uh, the original one. But the color is looking good. At the beginning, uh, the color didn't look that great when I was shooting one side. It looked very, uh, like a washed out yellow. But as I added a few coats and I turned it over later and did the other side, it started looking really good color-wise. So there's with our parking lights on. You can probably see a little bit of the difference. Like I said, a little more crystal clear over here, but it's, it's much better than it was, and I think it'll definitely pass. And I think uh, if you have a pair of these that are exactly the same, uh, and you wanna go to the amber color, then they're gonna look terrific. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with it. I, it does the job great. Make sure you use your adhesion promoter. You could maybe even clear coat it afterwards. I might do that at some point because that's actually pretty glossy. And this is kind of a almost a matte finish.